this this issue of the Pulse Club massacre. Omar Mateen, his wife is Palestinian. They were following Islamic doctrine in acting against homosexuals. It, it's a part of Islam. But they have here the uh, Answer Coalition marching in the parade who are very strong uh, pro-Islamic immigration supporters. You think that that's right, that the people are uh, understanding what, what they're really about? Look, I don't think that everyone, simply because they're Muslim, that means that they're not going to be supportive of LGBT rights. However, there is a problem that's going on in many Muslim-majority countries when it relates to LGBT rights for people where it's legal if you're convicted of being gay to be killed. Um, you know, we see what's happening in Chechnya right now. We see what's happening in Iran where you're hung in a public square. Saudi Arabia. Uh, we see what's happening in Indonesia where they're caning uh, gay men. Um, and it's, it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about. It doesn't mean that you're anti-Muslim to talk about it. It's, it's an issue that's going on. Like any other country or any other religion, there's issues going on. People should talk about it. If you don't address it, how are you ever going to make it better? So I think that's something that it needs to be, it needs to be talked about in a way that isn't condemning everyone who happens to be Muslim and is a, relig and is a religious Muslim, but also says that there are universal rights and freedoms that we should all expect. And I think it was a missed opportunity this year um, that we could be talking about what's happening to our brothers and sisters around the world legally, legally in these countries where they're being, we're being slaughtered. And we're not talking about that. Instead, we're talking about, um, you know, partisan political issues that are legitimate issues to talk about but have nothing necessarily to do with LGBT rights because when it relates to LGBT rights, there hasn't been a rollback of LGBT rights under the Trump administration. Um, so I'm not quite sure what we're resisting. I think it's a missed opportunity to talk about some of these LGBT specific issues that are happening around the world or happening even within this country. I mean, trans people in this country are disproportionately uh, murdered um, per capita. We're not talking about that in this parade. We're not talking about a lot of other legitimate issues. It's a missed opportunity in my, in my opinion.